Kenny, how important for you is it to get back to winning ways on Saturday? Yeah, we always want to um, in the league so far, uh, which is you know our main concern. Uh, won one and, and lost one, and I think both games, although tight for uh, the majority of the games, um, both both uh, deserved. That's about where we are at the moment. Uh, particularly the the side that Oxford finished with, they had a lot of power, and it just shows the difference between League One and League Two with the well, with the pace and the power that the that, that Oxford had by the end, and how, you know how, how well they could break. Something that we have to uh, overcome anyway. And um, starting this this week, um, Wal Walsall will be that they'll be young, they'll be fit, they'll be enthusiastic. Uh, they play good football. They've got a, a good model there. They never overstretch themselves they develop players well and um, you know they'll, they'll all have a point to prove uh, but for us anyway whoever the opposition asks about us uh, making sure we get to uh, an effective League One team as quickly as possible and, and develop and uh, work the players internally where we need to bring players in uh, bring young boys through and, and, and get to being a force in this division uh, and uh, um, having a, ho a strong home record is going to be a big part of that Looking back at Oxford last week, did you look at it during the week and come to any different conclusions that you than you already had on the day? No, I always do watch the games after, and it helps you to to talk to players and cope with players. But but generally, it was right up until the second goal, which was 82 minutes. It was an open game. Um, we had a we had a lot of the ball up to their box, but couldn't in one v one situations go past them. Uh, I thought they contained us. You know, we weren't getting shots in. And uh, we're getting up to up to and around that box, and and they handled us, and and you know that was frustrating, that was disappointing, and and with with some good uh, and constructive uh, passages of play of possession, and you do need that cutting edge and make sure that uh, people then can go one v one against their man and and beat people uh, for the, for their for their second goal. Uh, their, their, their substitute Castle was has beat two of our players you know and, and, and gone past uh, um, our right back and our right centre half at, the, at that particular time that's opened up the slot and then he's finished it past McGee and you know we, we weren't doing that at the other end and, and in the end ultimately that was the difference between the teams one would imagine Milan Lalkovic is close to, to coming back into contention. Yeah, he's fit and had a good week's training, and um, you know we'll be we'll be we'll be pleased to to, to bring him back because I was quite impressed with him in pre-season. Um, he's uh, he's had a, a lot of League One games for Walsall, funnily enough, and, and I've seen him uh, at this at this level, so I know he he is capable. Those players are quite a bonus to have up your sleeve. Yeah, and we want you know the boys that have been injured. We, we're always looking for those back. And um, to, to mix in and dovetail and help ultimately the, the, the other players that are playing. Said about the home record, and of course you've got a massive advantage with, with the crowd you'll have behind you again. Yes, definitely, and it's up to us to um, accept that. Put the the performance on the pitch that gets the crowd behind us. Uh, they will be anyway, and they'll be looking for for all of the positives. Up to us to make sure we put on a a, a bright, enthusiastic, energetic, and quality performance that uh, generates a great atmosphere in the ground.